Hello everyone, NadLabs here, and today we're going to be working on gestures. So as you can see, I click and move left. You can see that it'll print out that I move left. If I click, move right, move right. If I click, move up, it'll say up. Now if I click, move down, it'll be down. This is a really short tutorial, nothing too complicated or complex. I just want to get the basics out there. So let's dive straight into it. So we're going to go on paint. So let's say we have a game, right? And we have some player over here or whatever we're trying to move. And we, we get our player to press somewhere and then we drag left. Okay, and I'm, obviously I'm just explaining what a gesture is. It's just like a repeated motion that's kind of like vague or general. You know, when you're on your phone, when you like swipe left or right, that's kind of a gesture. So like you go like that to swipe left or go like this to swipe right. Of course, um, you could think of it the other way. Like this could be swiping right or left, depending on how you view it. But I would generally say that when you're going this way, you're to the left and this way to the right. That's the terminology or the way I like to think of it. And then up, swiping up, like you're going upwards. I know my dad says it the other way, but whatever. And this is... um swiping down uh so essentially we're going to try replicating that in Godot and trying to work that as a work that into a feature into our game so if we see all these lines i just drew we kind of already have the idea of what a gesture is mathematically speaking it's just a difference between where we clicked and where we let go and that's all we have to calculate that's really simple in fact it's really simple it doesn't require that many lines of code um so if we uh, go through the code real quick uh, we can see that uh, in our project settings we have input map and we have a we have a click and it's just when we press the mouse and we want to say that when we press right um, what do we want to do uh, let's say the input is just press so if we go back to our paint when I just press when I just click I want something to happen I want why is paint lagging uh, I just I want to be able to get that position I want to be able to understand where this person has clicked and I want to store that into a variable we can do that where this is the press position and then when we release we want to calculate what the release position was so uh, we can easily set that over there and I just realized we didn't need that extra line so over here we have our release position set up and uh, press position you can refactor this code to make sure it doesn't require global variables but at the same time we can do it with global variables it doesn't really make a difference so what we have over here is a release pause and just for uh, convenience sake we can print them out so you can see over here I click and I let go and we have our two positions as you can see if we look at this right now and we see that I was trying to do a down gesture we can see that the x variables or the x positions are almost really similar right they're almost the same and but these y ones are different and we can calculate that difference how do we calculate that difference well we can just call a function called calculate gesture basically when in a calculate gesture what we're going to be doing is we're going to be trying to find the difference between where we clicked and where we released and this is simple vector math of course i don't have to explain this fully in depth you can skip it um, this isn't really mandatory to understand but if i if you want to stick around and understand that when we swipe right we are get our pressed and our release pause but you have to understand that these positions this number is actually relative to the origin. This is like basics of vector math. So over here is the press position and over here we have our release position. And we're just going to be trying to find that difference or we're going to be trying to like measure or quantify which direction it moved in. And it's actually not that hard if you think about it because if we get its length, right? If we get its length, which is greater than a certain threshold, of course, we don't want to like count everything as a gesture. So let's say the um, threshold was on the 50,000, 5,000, right? Um, we don't really get anything like these could just be like minor taps on the screen. But if we like extend it a lot, we can add a threshold, minor side note. But as you can see over here, it's a bunch of if statements asking if the absolute value of the difference of X is greater than Y, it probably means we swiped left or right. What does that mean? So I'm basically trying to ask with this if statement over here, I'm trying to ask if X was greater than Y. So over here, we would measure, we would measure this distance. And then we would measure this distance, but then we would take this distance and we would kind of like rotate it around 90 degrees if we're trying to like compare them. And we would see that the orange one is greater than the X or orange is greater than yellow. So if we're swiping in this sort of a general direction like this, if we're just swiping downwards like this, then that probably means we wanted to move right, right? That's kind of what it means. Like, of course, it's like a 50-50 if we're kind of swiping diagonal. But in most cases, when we're trying to swipe right, we can see that we move down a little bit. We move down a super tiny amount, but then we move to the right a lot, or we move to the left a lot, depending on your gesture. So we're first going to check this, and then we're going to see, we're going to know that's left or right. But if that value is less than zero, it probably means to the left, right? Because it probably means we move this way. And if its value is greater than zero, then we probably means we move to the right. And we probably means we move this way. And I can print out what dx looks like. So uh, yeah, we can just print out uh, d over here. And we can see that when we swipe, you can see that d over here is the difference. And if we're looking right now, if I'm doing a swipe to the right, you can see that 
the y value is really small compared to the x. And that was g compared to x. And we can see we get left over right. And then um, it's after, we're, after we print left over right, we compare, is it smaller or less than zero or greater than zero? And we can see that it's actually greater than zero, which means we move to the right because I went this way. So click and move to the right and we get right. Same thing happens here. Very small y value means I didn't really move down. You can see that my mouse is not moving down. It's moving left to right. But when we move up or down, you can see that I'm getting down. Why? Because the x value is small. What does that mean? That means I move down like this. Of course, the x value I moved is like this. And why do I say the x value I moved is like this? What does that mean? It means if you took the x value over here and you compared it to the x value over here, there'd basically be like one or two pixels away, right? If I drew a perfect line, if I drew a perfect line, if I was capable of doing that, then there would be zero. There wouldn't be an x difference to compare. But essentially, this x value is super small. And if it's negative, it just means um, the line was like this. The line was like this and I was moving to the left. But you can see that the idea of x or, of, or the first position subtracted the final position and then comparing their values, that helps us determine uh, that helps us determine if it's up or down. And as you can see over here, if it's positive, it will be up. Uh, if it's positive, it'll be down. And if it's negative, it'll be up. Sorry, a little confused there just because in regular game dev terms, as you can see over here in the transform, this Y, if I move this guy up, we get negative and downwards is positive. So obviously we have that built in and then we have a up, down, left, right gestures in about, how long is that? Nine minutes of recording. That would be a smaller tutorial. I'm sure it will be. And yeah, that's essentially all we have to do to make gestures. And how do you act or make sure that these gestures do something? Well, if you wanted to, um, uh, this was not part of the plan tutorial, but if you wanted to, you can add a rigid body and then uh, if you really wanted to, I guess, uh, add a rigid body and then add a sprite to it. Um, this is just an example of what you can do after you calculate the gesture um, and then just add it to the world uh, player on the fly because I did not plan this part of the tutorial at all, um, but uh, who cares? I, I think it's necessary to show how you can apply it, not just think about it. Um, uh, so over here we have this player, and then what do we want to do when we calculate gesture? Um, let's say we apply a gesture in a certain direction. So uh, we get rigid body player on the fly dot apply, uh, apply a impulse uh, offset vector 2.0. We don't want to apply an impulse to it, but we want, to, or don't, we don't want to apply an offset, but we want to uh, supply a vector into a correct direction. So direction of the vector, um, we can easily make this over here. Um, actually, yeah, we can easily do something like uh, direction is a vector equal to vector 2.0. And then if it's left, we can just call it a direction equal to vector 2 left. Um, right, right, down, 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 down. Um, and then we can just multiply direction by like a value of like, I don't know, 50. And then we can see we can get, uh, nope, no cancel editor. But if we get rid of gravity, 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 gravity scale zero. If we just apply gravity to it, if we just apply gravity, you can see that we can get our player moving in certain directions. And you can, you might, you might be able to, you might be saying, Hey, why don't we just do, um, D like this. Why don't we just apply a force in that direction? Like that works as well, right? Um, yeah, it does. But I don't. What happens if you don't want your game to have diagonals? What happens if it's part of the game to apply uh, only uh, really specific directions, like only left, up, down, right? You know, maybe that might be part of your game, like this, to move a player kind of in this sort of fashion. Um, that's totally, that might be something you're after. And um, yeah, you can now do that by gesture recognitions. And this, of course, works on Android. I would have to install it on Android to show you, which I will do right now. Um, I will even walk you through that because I have not installed this on my phone. In fact, I have not done it on anything with my phone. Wow, this tutorial is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. So install Android, build templates. Let's go. Um, did it install? Okay, install. Um, export, Android. Let's go. Um, boom. I have plugged in my phone to my computer. So I have just turned on the screen recording on my phone and we can see we have that. So we're going to click install to Android. And of course it's not working at the moment. Uh, you can't see my touches, but if I go to project settings input and I search up uh, emulate, okay. If you want to do this on a, a mobile device, you have to click that. And then we click this again and um, hopefully it works. Hopefully it works. Hopefully it works. Hope. 
it's not even picking up my touches so that means there might be an issue over here project settings input map click edit uh, device all devices change that to all devices it should work then okay restarting on my phone yeah there we go look at that finally what did i change oh yeah change it to all devices not just one and as you can see i'm moving down moving up it's trying to move up left to right works on phone works on computer boom you got gestures in what is that 16 minutes it'll probably be a 10 minute video on youtube let's go have an amazing day and oh my android guy left um i don't remember the direction but see ya have an amazing day. Bye. Okay, no. Where the hell's my pen? Where the hell is my pen? Are you joking? Are you joking? I don't have time. I have to leave in 15 minutes. Uh, where is my pen? I'm not doing this without my pen. I might have to do this without my pen. Uh, 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 shit. Are you joking? Why would I ever not put the pen back in its place? Oh, this is disgusting. It ruins my plans. But, are you serious? I genuinely do not have my pen. Okay, we're going penless now. Oh, shit. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Uh, if only I had a wire. I have to get ready in 10 minutes. Um, mm -mm 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 -mm. I'll get a wire and be right back. Oh my gosh, I gave my wire to my dad. Shit. Uh oh. I ain't got a wire. Um, yes, I do. Uh... Yay, I have secured a wire. 